Okay. The question is about what is a suitable age for marriage, I mean for dating. Um, now, for dating, the person should be mature. Many people date in the teenage year. In the teenage year, for sure, they're not thinking about the will of God. They're just having fun. Yeah. So many people have the concept dating is fun. Dating is sex. Dating is companion. Now, it's wrong. If you seek just companion because you want dating, because you want companion, what happens is you put your whole life marriage on this one thing, companion, instead of putting on God. So, um, teenage year for sure is not suitable. In the 20s, if you are, I would say first, if you are emotionally mature, you understand man and woman, you understand relationship, you know how to communicate, then I would say you, you know, you, you are somewhat ready for dating. But as I mature more, I notice that when we, when we mature, we grow so much. I've grown so much. Now, I don't mean you wait until you are 40, 50 years old. But you find that in your early 20s, your wisdom is still very low. So it's better to, that you raise up your own knowledge of things, of people, and your wisdom and your relationship with God. And then you can discern what are good people. When you were young, what happened is you see an attractive guy who wow, really talks in a way that makes you happy, and then you say, wow, that is attractive. So then the value is on the outside. But when you mature a little more, you know it's spiritual qualities, personal qualities, communication qualities, emotional qualities, all these are very important. So I would not set an age, but I would say, are you mature? and also spiritual. The more which spiritual we are, the better. Because you have good relationship with God, then God will guide you. And God will tell you this is wrong. You have the ability to discern the people. And you will know that. The people in the world are just not suitable. And you know Christians, even people who serve God, even Christians who serve God, and do not necessarily love God. It's not just serving God which shows that they love God. It's their life. The speech, the way they look at people, the way they handle people. So you, you, the more you observe other people uh, and observe the qualities, then you know what kind of qualities are good qualities. What kind of qualities are not desirable in relationship. But many people look for people ah, who, who dance well, who sings well, and <laughs> who talks well. These are not the most important qualities. Or leaders. Leaders very often uh, will attract attention of the opposite sex. Leaders, leaders are not necessarily the best spouse. It's the one God plans for you. The more we understand the same sex and the opposite sex, the more we understand people and communicate with people of the both sexes, the more we know the weaknesses of the both sexes and the strengths, and you know what kind of people are desirable, uh, that are good in, in marriage. And it's, it's, uh, it will have, that you can have a godly marriage. The most important thing, you hunger for a godly marriage, not just someone who looks good on the outside or have money. Men and women should not be chasing after each other, but rather seeking God's will. When the right person comes, God will move both persons to feel that way. When you relate to everyone around you, and you come across the right person God has prepared for you, you will have the feeling. So I don't suggest people to chase after people to get the girl they want, or the attractive, to attract the guy they want. Uh, that's a question, that people want that. But it's not what I want, it's God's plan. So if you think God is telling to you, this is perhaps the person for you. Then you pray to God, God, what can I do? And you can talk with the person. It's like a brother and sister. Just talk. And if that person is the right person, the person will respond. So believe that. One thing, if God has planned a person for you in heaven, the person will not be able to run away. The person will not run away. The person will be yours. 
God has planned a person for you. So the faith is in God. But most people don't do that. Most people use their own personal method. We just trust in God and then just relate to people, care about people, be nice to everyone, and then you'll come across the right person.